What's going on, everybody? This is Mario. I hope you're doing very well today. Man, listen, it has been a very long time since I did a video. I mean, a super long time. Um, but it's time for me to come back. People were asking me, hey, Mario, you know what happened? Are you going to do any more videos or whatever? And um, I just kind of got caught up doing some other things, you know, growing the business. Um, but it's time to do a video. It's time to do a video. I want to talk about, and when I use the title of this video, I can't move past it. I can't move past it, right? Um, on a daily basis, I work with people, not only in ministry, but in my business, that are suffering from very deep trauma. They're suffering from childhood trauma, the trauma of scarcity, the trauma from broken relationships, self-hatred. It's just a myriad of things that people are actually suffering with, right? And as a practitioner who deals with mindset and schools of thought, I hear a lot of people say, well, I know I just got to get past it. Or my mama told me to get over it. My family told me I've been dealing with it too long. Get over it. Get past it. In relationships, somebody says, well, you need to get over that. Get past it. And, you know, I thought about that and it bothers me. And the reason that bothers me is because a person who is dealing with trauma, the last thing they need is to feel dismissed. It's the last thing they need to feel is dismissed. The question I ask is to those people who tell people, well, you just need to get past it. You need to get over it. My question to them is who died and made you the standard? Like, who are you to tell people how to process their trauma? If you don't want to be bothered with the person, then dismiss yourself, but don't dismiss the power of the trauma over them. Um, I think that I, I think that's so insensitive, number one. I think it's disregarding, number two. And I think, number three, you're totally out of order. Now, do I understand that we do have to triumph over certain things absolutely but the better question is how do you tell a person to move past it or how do we even tell ourselves i've got to move past this but we never deal with the root because if i move past it right i just want you to follow me if i move past it what happens when the same thing i thought i got past shows up in my next season See, this is why people are constantly getting in bad relationships, right? Because they never deal with the root of the trauma from uh, misunderstanding of love, misunderstanding of relationships. Um, they never deal. They, they never dealt with rather um, the power of rejection and being disregarded or no one ever teaching them what love really was. And so you take the trauma of the misunderstanding into every single area of your life. Whether that's a business relationship, a sexual relationship, a platonic friendship relationship, whatever relationship, somehow or another, you take that trauma because somebody told you, get past it, get over it, you know, without actually processing. So what is the answer? The answer is you got to pluck it up at the root. You've got to go and deal with the root of the trauma because anything that keeps its roots is going to grow back. You can chop a tree down and if you don't pluck it up at the root, it's just going to grow back, right? You talk about weeds, you got to pluck weeds up, get them from the root. And you got to put something that, that stops the growth of the thing. And so this is why it's so important for us to stop disregarding people, telling them what they need to hurry up and get over. Or you just got to get past it. You got to drop it. You got to let it go. They will in time, if they get the proper help to process the trauma and you know, really uproot that trauma and deal with it and face it because it's going to keep coming back. So I think that it's so important for us to realize that no matter who we are, uh, we can move past things. Absolutely, we can. But the truth of the matter is, is that if the root isn't plucked up, no matter how much we think we've gotten past it, it's going to show up and usually at the most inopportune moment. And so the work needs to be not trying to move past anything, but literally plucking it up at the root, getting an understanding of how it's paralyzing you and begin to now make efforts to pluck it up at the root so that the life of that thing, the life of that trauma can no longer traumatize you as you're moving through your life. So, yeah, 
it's not about just moving past it, but moving past in a healthy way by plucking up that root so that it does not continue to happen. Another generation doesn't have to suffer. The next person that should, that should be in your life is not gonna be traumatized because you bring trauma into every area of your life. And the new person that's coming into your life is trying to figure out like what in the world is going on? Like, why are you mistreating me? Like, why are you so insecure or whatever? And it becomes even more traumatic because you really don't know that the root is still working, right? So I just wanna help you today to kind of understand that and process that and work with that. If you need to contact me, my business is called Life Matters with Mario Brown. Your life really does matter for, with me www.mariocbrown.org. Listen, click the notifications, turn them on, subscribe to this channel, share this video with somebody that may be going through this. And I want you to understand there is help out here. Many times you can talk to someone who doesn't know you, who doesn't have any history with you, and they can help you a little bit better because there's no judgment. There's no uh, uh, bias involved. You know what I mean? There's no consideration bias because they don't know anything about you to be able to try to put two and two together. And so this is why we want to help. This is why we're here to be able to help you. All right. God bless you in your endeavors. Pluck it up at the root. Have a good one.